stirring it, almost done. I got a the Ed Health tip of the day for you people coming in a minute. Done. And that's it, people. Pasta salad, Eddie D style, 101, straight up. Now, can you dig it, suckers? So, let's talk health tip. I'm going to show you something right now. I'm going to teach you people something. It goes like this. Um, Last week, my mother was in the hospital. I happened to go in there, and the time the nurse was in there, asked questions about what kind of medication she's on. And I get sick to my stomach to see how a doctor had to junk it up. It makes me kind of sad, right? And then your swine flu shit going on. Oh, we're gonna have a new swine flu medicine. Gee, how much money are the pharmaceutical companies making on that shit? Where did swine flu also come back up from, suckers? Let me tell you something. I used to be a chronic, hay fever person all my life. Pfizer when I was a kid could, could have me take shots for some sucker doctor, right? I don't seize no more. You know why? One of the ingredients in the Ed Stack, my anti-aging stack, I'm gonna reveal this one. You're not gonna know the whole Ed Stack because I'm not really marketed yet. So I do an anti-aging stack in the morning before I go to bed. Well I'm gonna give you guys a health tip. Glutamine, it's an amino acid. I get in powder form, I buy it by a two pound jug. You need one teaspoon in the morning before you go to bed on an empty stomach. Right? I go to the morning, I go to bed in the morning because I work through the night. At night time before you go to bed, you know what people? One teaspoon in your favorite juice. Besides recovery for your muscle, it helps your immune system. Okay? You get sick is when your immune system's weak, right? This helps your immune system. It keeps you strong. So you don't fall sick to the stupid bullshit that's out there and this way you don't have to get junky up from some sucker doctor. It goes like this. Down the road, right, this sucker doctor, I can't name his name, but he looks like Bozo the Clown. Me and my wife walked by him in the hospital last week. My mother was in there. She got home Tuesday. I seen him about six something. Hair like Bozo the Clown. Going through my head when I was walking down the hallway was clothesline that sucker right there, right? So, hey, my mother loves this guy, thinks he's a hero. Uh, let him go visit him. Well, it goes like this. I don't want to mention his name, but down the road, something happens to my mother with all the pills and drugs she's off in the sucker. <laughs> it goes like this. I will put, and I will change into Eddie Jihad. I will put on my terrorist mask. See right here, people? And I will start terrorizing sucker doctors that are junking up the elderly people today. And my first house call <laughs> would be that sucker's house. Because I'm going to knock on his door and I'm going to put a can of whoop ass on him like you've never seen. It goes like this. After I kick the shit out of him, I'm going to say, you know what, sucker? Now you can go see your doctor and he can junk you up on Oxycontin. That's a painkiller with a heroin base and you become a junkie yourself, sucker. But can you dig that, people? <laughs> Let's remember. Hmm. Well, pissed off about my mother being chunky up. Glutamine. One teaspoon a day will help keep that sucker doctor away from junking you up with bullshit medicine that's going to kill you in the long run. Can you dig suckers? We'll be back with my closing promo. Can you dig that? Welcome back, suckers. This show is a done deal. Can you dig it? Pasta salad. Done. Eddie D style suckers. Can you dig it? We'll wrap it up like this. It goes like this. Just remember, you cook your rotini with olive oil and a little some garlic. Before you put the rotini in the Tupperware, where you get your cucumbers and tomatoes and onions cut up. Make sure you rinse it out with cold water so you don't you know you don't kill the tomatoes and the cucumbers with heat. Put your tabbouleh in. Salt the cucumbers, the tomatoes and. Before you put the stuff in there, and it's all good in the hood. 
But as simple as the recipe can, can be, like I said, just think about flavor and it comes right to your suckers. Can you dig it? It goes like this. Your two health tips, I think I give you a three. I sing it, I walk it like I talk it. I'm saying I bring it too. The big show I'm working on, I'm on a two job schedule, being pulled up and lit up. Try to hook up with my brother in a proper time frame so we do the, the Fusha Brother lasagna special. That's in the works. And the big granddaddy of all is, uh, you see my father, Mamal, is uh, makes some wine in September. So me, Pitbull, and the king, my brother, we're gonna hook up with him. And uh, we're not gonna crush the grapes. He does it two different ways. When he was young and fresh, he used to crush grapes. They have a grape crush called the Doik. Well, if you want to crush it, there's a place in Boston we can buy the grapes be crushed. So we're going to be doing the Defusia Vino Special, where we can start with the process that the, the grapes are already crushed. So it's a tell we're bringing that life to you, suckers. Can you dig it? So those are the big shows in the works for Cooking With Ed. Obviously, we're going to have a lot more coming. Um, David Pibble Hunter's wife wants me to do chicken palm. And, you know, I'm going to be putting my time spin on everything. Can you dig it? You know, tap me get my ice freak on. I got people coming. So we'll be doing a car lift tonight. Hopefully I can, I can pull that off. And uh, we we'll get a nice pasta salad. As that side item for tonight's party. Can you dig suckers? Hope you enjoy the show cooking with Ed. <laughs> I put my spin on it. Suckers, can you dig it? And Bobby Filet. <laughs> the simple recipe, baby. When it comes to throw down with me, I'll throw down anytime, anywhere. Whatever recipe you want to go for, sucker. Can you dig it? I'm out. Enjoy your weekend. Remember, when you're most nice and up, drink responsible because I do 24-7 suckers. Can you dig it? I'm out of here.